CNN and parent company Warner Media just got some bad news indeed. They were hit with a $50 million defamation lawsuit. CNN in its quest to destroy President Trump plays fast and loose with journalistic ethics and they may finally have pushed the envelope too far. They allegedly ran a false story about a Chinese billionaire who is desperate to avoid getting sent back to China where he faces certain imprisonment. They claim he is a spy, he claims it is defamation. From The Hollywood Reporter, a Chinese billionaire and Mar-a-Lago member is suing Warner Media over a CNN segment that he claims falsely implies he committed espionage and was on the verge of being deported. Guo Wangyi who's known as Miles Guac in the US, on Friday filed a $50 million lawsuit against Warner Media and CNN anchor Aaron Burnett for defamation. According to the complaint, Guo is an outspoken and vitriolic critic of the Chinese Communist Party who's seeking asylum in the U. S because his public statements about the Chinese government led to the arrest of his family members and the freezing of his assets. Since he fled in 2014, Guo claims the Chinese government has gone to extensive lengths to have him extradited, including asking CEOs of large companies and venture capitalist Elliot Brody to put pressure on President Donald Trump. He maintains the Chinese government is actively working to discredit him and he's sued multiple people for defamation alleging they falsely labeled him a spy, a fraud, a swindler and a rapist. Guo is now claiming that he was defamed when Burnett began a July 23 CNN segment by teasing New Tonight, the Chinese billionaire and member of Mar-a-Lago accused of being a spy. Clearly, the intent was to garner views for the sensational story with no regard for the truth and less investigation into the underlying facts, writes attorney Aaron Mitchell in the complaint. The CNN broadcast went on to make a number of false statements, along with various other statements intended to mislead its viewers and cast plaintiff in a negative light. He also takes issue with statements made by Burnett's guest, Miami Herald reporter Sarah Blasky, in connection with another New York legal fight. She said a company that he partnered with in the past accused him in court documents of trying to gather intel for the Chinese government and went on to say it's unclear if federal authorities are acting on that information. To further embellish their story, defendants made statements that insinuated that Mr. Guo was associated with the woman arrested sneaking into Mar-a-Lago with malware and Cindy Yang who has been accused of selling access to Mar-a-Lago and President Trump, writes Mitchell. Even a modicum of due diligence would have shown the falsity of these statements.